Okay guys, gonna be uh, replacing this furnace, coil, and condenser. Well, we're not doing a condenser today, but um, we gotta do the coil. I'll pump her down. Gonna put in a, it's a four ton coil, 13 sear, 120,000 BTU American Standard. The unit's currently working. I was here on Saturday. Quite a bit of roll uh, rollout. I don't know how good you guys can see that, but pretty rusty. Um, about 22 years old. So the customer elected to uh, just replace it. Also having issues with the blower motor. Uh, wheels wobbling, bearings are going, making noise, and such. So should be a good little install. We are also going to do the humidifier, but if we don't get it today, we will, we will, it's no biggie. Um, we replaced those two water heaters a couple years ago. Piggybacked. Nice little job. Alright guys, just wanted to show you this. I was trying to show you downstairs, it was really dark, it's still hard to see. There's a lot of rust here. A lot of carbon build up there and there and then look up in here I mean look around the, the high limit and, and that's bad so it was rolling out a little bit and uh, I did find two cracks there's one down there that I can't really can't really see too well but and there's a larger one on this side Let's see if I can stick the camera down there and you can see it That's the larger one of the two. And then the small one. It's, you're not going to be able to see it on a film, but... Oh yeah, yeah, right there. Right there. Finishing up, got the sheet metal done, return done on blocks, got the heat up and running, sheet metal came out pretty good, pretty easy, lined right up, 24 or 23 and change by 19, um, it's pretty much the Zach's platinum. Blue pipe. Gas pipe. Emergency switch. Outlet for the condensate pump. Which we still gotta do the humidifier. I'm gonna do the condensate now. T trap, bring it over. Um, when we come back in the spring to hook up the condenser, that's when we'll do the line set in here, flush it out, blow it out, clean it, braze it in here, set the new condenser, and uh, braze it outside and finish up the AC. But she's got heat, back up and running. What's up guys, just getting done with that, uh, that 120,000 BTU four ton case coil. Um, we will be returning in the spring to do the air conditioning side. As you can see, it is snowing, so 
we are not doing the outside condenser and setting that so we capped off the existing refrigerant lines and uh, left the condenser outside and I have to come back in, uh, in the spring to do that I will be returning in a few days to finish the humidifier and do a couple of the touch-ups I didn't get a final shot of everything pretty much the last shot was that we just did the condensate line to the from the air conditioning coil to the um, uh, condensate pump um, and swept up and picked up but uh that's pretty much it for today I'll return in a few days to do the humidifier uh, I got some more calls to run it's now 418 so we'll see what else is going on but uh hope you guys liked share subscribe and comment and I apologize it wasn't any action photos or videos or, or shots um, just kind of a before and after and I showed the, the cracked heat exchanger which I pretty much speculated I was here on Saturday today's Tuesday um, the original call was the fan making noise and the smell so uh, these are good people I've been here before and um, they wanted to go ahead and replace it and I noticed that and I pointed it out and it was rolling back when it turned on so I kind of figured there was an issue with that heat exchanger especially the left two ports were so rusty but um, hey, better be safe than sorry.